Just imagine being a tiny adorable chicken, but everybody in this world wants to eat you. Including these pack of wolves, and especially these foxes. There's only one way to stop them. This is Hardcore Minecraft, and I'm going to be surviving the next 100 days as a chicken. On day one, there was a flock of chickens, and they loved eating seeds and laying eggs. As the flock ate more food, more chickens were born into this world. The flock kept expanding, and that's exactly when I was born. Now, not only did I look different, but I was starving. So, I broke some grass, just like every chicken would do, got some seeds, and began feasting. Listen, every chicken's gotta eat. You got a problem with that? Yeah, what's going on here? I, I feel like I'm a part of a chicken initiation. Yo, oh, okay, the bear is trying to eat me. Yo, oh, no, back up. Stay back, okay. Oh, he can swim. He can literally swim. No, no, I'm telling you, I don't taste so good. What is this? Huh, chicken kick and chicken speed. It turns out my flock was teaching me the arts of chicken kung fu. It's like regular kung fu, but you're a chicken that can kick and run extremely fast. As I kept training, I got pretty used to my abilities, but there was another odd chicken who was learning the same thing as me, and his name was Philip. I gotta say, he's, he's very different from the rest of us. Wait, what did you say? Are you kidding me? Have you seen yourself in the mirror? You look like a tiny version of Chicken Little. <laughs> oh, you wanna go, bro? Huh? You wanna go? For the rest of the night, we continued fighting. Once we both got tired, we gave up. So, we went back to our nest, ate some seeds, and finally went to sleep. On day two, while my flock was searching for food, we came across the Mega Tiger. Now, this place is dangerous enough. Why do you think there's barely any chickens in here? We don't dare step in these territories. Philip, you find a squirrel, buddy. Here, try, try to feed us some wheat seeds. Oh, I, I don't think he likes that. I'm pretty sure that squirrels do not eat any of those. Oh, no, Philip, don't kill him. No, Philip, leave him alone. We're just innocent chickens. Anyways, we were in the clear, and the chickens were enjoying their food while I was searching for the legendary seeds, which apparently gives you special powers. And that's when Philip decided to steal some sweet berries. Yo, Philip, where you been, buddy? Uh, Philip, where exactly did you get these berries from? <laughs> oh, okay, okay, fair. Seeds are kind of lame, but chickens don't exactly eat sweet berries. You know, I'm kind of confused how you're eating sweet berries. Boys, that chicken is not normal. I'm telling you. Well, it was all fun and games until the foxes showed up. And they were extremely mad. I mean, I will be too if my food supply was gone. All because Philip decided to sneak in and steal it from them. And suddenly, they found my flock and raided us. By using their pounce ability, they dove in the air and ate my chickens alive. Philip, we gotta go, buddy. Come on, let's go, hurry up. We gotta go. The last thing I wanna do is become fox food. Just keep running and don't look back. Oh, come on. Philip and I ran for the night. These vicious foxes wanting to shred me apart and turn us into meat. <laughs> On day three, we set up camp and farmed for some feathers. I had just enough to craft myself a full set of bird tools. Do you know what bird tools are? At first you might think, how's that possibly gonna stop anything? But I'm telling you, they are no joke. Look at this. This pickaxe breaks a three by three area wherever I mine. Yo, Philip. While we're here, let's kill some zombies and let's just get some quick diamonds. And there's just so many diamonds. Look at this. Everywhere we go, just instant diamonds for us. And it's super. Oh, oh that was so close. You have a heart. You have a heart. Never mind. Dab up. Dab up. Nope, not today. Oh no. Philip, it's the raccoons, buddy. That's not good. I'm telling you. Raccoons being cute? What, what, what do you mean? No, Philip. No, those raccoons. I'm, I'm telling you. They, they hit me. Get out of here! Bad raccoons! Get out of here! Who would ever be afraid of raccoons? Don't they just like dig through trash? But no! These mischievous animals love causing trouble and making a mess. Oh, Philip! Where, where are these raccoons coming from? And why is there so many raccoons? It's just literally an army of them! Get out of here! Bad raccoons! Oh, they're attacking me! It's a massacre! It's, it's like a bears and the moose is all fighting together! Oh, watch out, buddy! We gotta go! Oh, man! What do you want from me? I don't get it! I thought to myself, 
When will these raccoons just stop? I I've been dealing with them since 100 days as a panda and a fox. They will scavenge through literally anything just to steal something. Look at him. He's stealing a book. Why does he need a book? R raccoons don't read. On days four through five, Philip and I just couldn't catch a break. As we were searching for a village, the foxes caught up to our scent, and they found our camp that we were staying at. So we set up a quick trap, placing down an item frame with a chicken inside, and then we ran as fast as a little feet could run. Philip, don't look back! No, oh, don't look back! We gotta go! There's like a portal over there or something! Right there! You see it? They're still down to us! Oh, get in front of the get in front of the cougar thing over here, or the, or the jackal, whatever that even is. A panther. Take him out, buddy. No, no. Everything's not going. That is not good. Philip, what you got for me, buddy? Let me see this. A clock. Not bad. And a crocodile egg. Eventually, we found a small structure that we could stay at and quickly crafted the bird armor set. First, I made the boots and the leggings, and most importantly, the chest plate and the helmet. As I put the armor on, not only did I feel stronger, but I was given a speed boost. Come on, Philip, catch me if you can, buddy. <laughs> yo, I'm way too fast for you, bro. If you catch up to me, I will give you all. Oh, okay, you almost got me. You almost got me. I will give you unlimited diamonds and even seeds. I'm like a submarine, but I'm a chicken. Well, at least now we had a chance against those vicious animals and deadly creatures in this world. Anyways, we found fellow chicken friends surrounding a village, and they said that this place was apparently safe. So I, I took the word for it, okay? Though, we kicked out a villager from his house and transformed his room into Moose's chicken coop. Philip, looks like you uh, brought some friends here, buddy. Welcome, boys. Hey, listen, no, no, no villagers around. You, 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 you get out of here. Mad villagers, get out of here. Hey, you, you better stay away, okay? I don't want any trouble. I go. All right, boys, y'all can sleep here, and, I, and I'll just, just get one of these spots right here, okay? No, oh, Philip, you, you killing every villager. Philip, you got him really mad. The iron, no, even the bears are mad. You old man, that's a great way to die. Get him, Philip! Philip, get him! Ooh. What are we doing? Oh, not the. Oh, man, that's just a massacre. What I tell you? Get out of my house! Only for chickens! You too! Uh, I think we're gonna need some more chickens. <laughs> On day six, while my chickens were sleeping, I had a nightmare. Everything around me was dark, and all I could hear was weird sounds, almost as if I was in the nether. And suddenly, something came closer. It, it turned out to be a. A weird bird of some sort. Such an innocent chicken, completely unaware of his surroundings. Hold on a second. Who, who even are you in? What exactly am I doing here? What, 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 what even is this place? This is just a dream. I'm the Phoenix Lord, guardian of the nether. The Phoenix Lord? I've been here hundreds of times, and I'm telling you, I've, I've never seen you before. That's because I'm only seen when I walk to be. I was once a chicken just like you. I was blessed by the nine-tailed fox and given power from the sun gods. First of all, how are you a chicken? And, and are you talking about Kurama? Cause I've, I've dealt with him before. I'm telling you, that, that, that guy's no joke. He killed my best friend. His name was Felix. I must go. I wish you the best of luck. Be careful against these new mutants. I woke up panicking that the phoenix was talking about new mutants. But what does a mutant look like? Whatever that meant, I had to figure it out in the upcoming days. Hey everybody, wake up boys. Okay, we got an emergency right now. Come on, get up, get up, let's go. I don't want you guys to freak out, but there are mutants coming for us right now. Philip, wake up buddy. Come on, get up. Oh, what? No, no, I'm not crazy, Philip. I'm being serious. Of course, nobody believed me until we walked outside and our entire village was flooded with raccoons. There were so many of them. I quickly ran over to the bell and hit it with my fist, alerting all my chickens about the raccoons. Everybody run! Okay, I'm, I'm gonna keep pulling them back! No, 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 come on, so, hurry up, buddy! Grab the chickens, let's go, get them out of here! Are y'all kidding me? These raccoons wanna kill me? Philip, just head to the woods! I'm gonna keep holding them back! Ugh. As everyone retreated, Philip did the honors. He grabbed some TNT, placed it inside of our building, and completely blew the place up. Honestly, I couldn't imagine how mad these villagers were. 
On day 7 through 10, as we were escaping, we ended up losing nearly all of our chickens along the way. These little creatures are just so fragile. A few got attacked by bears, while others were eaten by wolves. Ouch. One even walked into a ravine. How is that even possible? And some got cooked alive in lava pools. Oh, oh, hold on, back. There's, there's literally a jaguar here to try to eat our chicken family. This is honestly... No, 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 go back up. I'm going in, buddy. I'm jumping over him. Hitting him with a kick. I'm down on one heart. Okay, one heart. That's not good. That is not good. You see, Philip, this is our issue. Our, our, our friends are dying, and we're down to literally nobody. Great. And that's all that's left of our friends. So, I wanted to create a new flock of chickens. But I had to think big. I found a small hill and began building a barn on top of it, which eventually will be surrounded by a massive farm known as the Paradise Farm. First, I created the basic structural layout using white concrete, birch wood to give the build more depth, even spruce fences and trapdoors, combined with diorite walls leading up to the diorite blocks. Then, I used the classic red concrete for the first layer and red concrete powder for the second layer. That should complete the detailed look. After all, it's gotta be red. Next up was the roofing, using birch planks to fill in the design, paired with slabs and stairs to get the roof just a little bit fancier. For the front door, I kept it pretty simple. Oh, and for the windows, I placed glass blocks on all sides of the house and added in hanging lanterns to keep this place lit. And this will be the official path to the farmhouse. I gotta say, it, it looks pretty cool, except it's kind of empty inside. Now, on to my favorite part, the interior. First, I dig up the floor and built the flooring with birch planks mixed in with some oak planks. Then, I added in oak lock pillars with a fancy design to make the barn look a little bit more realistic. I even divided the first floor into four animal pens, using hay bales for the floors and birch fences to keep them enclosed. I wanted the whole barn experience. That includes an area for horses, cows, pigs, and even sheep. Now, for the outside, we had a plan for other animals that we come across. Philip, this might be our best idea. I, I, I'm telling you, look at this. Who doesn't want a pet turtle? And the barn just by itself is looking pretty crazy. Well, what are you, what are you doing? You're just, you're just casually taking the turtles for a walk. Oh, oh, the, never mind. Anyways, I moved on to the second floor by creating a staircase on both of the sides using oak stairs and building the flooring using oak and birch planks, but still leaving space in the middle to see what's happening downstairs. I labeled each place with a birch sign. For the enchanting room, seed farm, Kitchen plus the dining room, storage room, chicken habitat, and two bedrooms for Philip and I. Since chickens are messy, I even left the toilet area for them. This is mainly for Philip's problem. He just doesn't want to talk about it. My chickens, welcome to the Paradise Farm. We have literally everything you can imagine. Unlimited food, resources, and even a place to stay. Oh, and, and we got toilets too. And turtles. Who doesn't love turtles? Well, look how cute they are. Look at this. On days 11 to 14, everything was going great. Now that we had our own farm, all we needed was a bunch of chickens. Oh, and of course, space defense to keep them safe. We headed out to the wheat field and began recruiting chickens, informing them of our new place where all chickens can live in peace and harmony. So we brought them all back to our farm and led them inside the barn. I then built a small area to explain the rules. Turn, hunt! Chickens, listen up. This is Captain Moose speaking. Sergeant Philip will demonstrate. Rule number one. If you see a raccoon, you gotta fight it. You get me? Okay. Rule number two. Foxes equals run. What that means, if you see a fox, you run. Because he will most likely jump over you and eat you alive. Rule number three. Never ever betray a moose. I'm telling you, it's a bad idea. Hey! And finally, rule number four. Don't let the other animals out. Never mix a chicken with a vicious animal. It's just not gonna end well. Philip! Philip, what is that? No, 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 Philip, Philip, oh, no! Philip, what, where'd you even get it from? Philip, are you kidding me, bro? No, oh, man. As everybody started settling in, I was honestly kind of worried. If you accidentally punch a chicken, it just dies. I really needed some reassurance that they will be safe. So, I began building an underground area. 
I dug the entire place out with my bird pickaxe and designed a simple underground mine. This is where I'll be storing all of my minor chickens. And since they don't have hands to hold pickaxes, I needed a different type of chicken. By pushing my chickens downstairs and giving them iron ingots, they were instantly transformed into the iron chickens. You know what this is? Every 30 to 60 seconds, instead of laying eggs, they lay iron blocks. That's right, perfect for unlimited iron golems. My boys have been going to town. Look at this, four blocks of iron. It, it's just it's just everywhere. At this point, we're gonna literally have everything made of iron blocks. Philip, this is by far one of our best ideas. Now the question is, you might be made of iron, but can you eat it? Nope, I guess not. Can you? Nope, Never mind. As nighttime rolled around, a raccoon snuck inside of my base through the chimney. I didn't even know that was possible. He then transformed into this weird creature and quickly picked up my chicken, running away with my friend. On days 15 to 19, I declared war on the raccoons. These sneaky animals, I just knew they were going to find a new way to sneak inside and steal from us. So Philip and I crafted a bow, then a few buckets and filled them with water. We even found a spot nearby and began building a few blocks up, placed out a bunch of water patches and covered them with spruce trap doors to begin our massive pumpkin patch. Now, this farm right here was crucial for our iron golem defense and especially the future of our chicken community. Ooh, look at this. I gotta say, buddy, I like what you're doing with the spruce fence setup. You know, how about this? How about this, buddy? We're gonna call this place Phillips Pumpkin Patch. There we go. Perfect. And here's some lanterns, so it's super lit. Oh, come on, bro. We already got fruit flies here. Oh, get out of here. No, bad. Get, get out, get out. And Philip, just help me shear a few of these things, and let's go to collect them so we can have our iron golem farm. Well, now that we had a massive pumpkin patch, we need to make this place look way cooler. So we started a wheat farm. The most annoying part was filling up the entire place with these one-by-one -one water patches and placing these trap doors on top. The final part was prepping the land with my bird hoe and planting hundreds and hundreds of seeds. I even brought a few chickens outside to help me plant my seeds, which didn't exactly work that well. They're not exactly the smartest. So Philip and I ended up doing the most. Now this is my favorite part right here, seeing all the seeds grow. By far the most satisfying part. <laughs> no, no, Philip, no, no flint steel. Okay, no, none of that. Okay, come on, Get cough it up. Get, give, it, give it to me. This is dangerous, but I gotta say, our place looks absolutely amazing. Look at this. There's just so much wheat. Unlimited bread for days. On days 20 to 24, I visited my underground mine. And let me tell you, my iron chickens gathered so many iron blocks. There was literally stacks of it. I could even make an iron throne and become a king. Anyways, I headed outside and began placing an army of iron golems. This would ensure to help keep my place safe for many unusual mobs. Even though they don't exactly stop animals from attacking us, it's still good to know that we're safe from enemies. Yo, Philip, what do you think about all my iron golems? I, I think it's I think it's definitely funny. You know, we're, we're gonna keep, oh, look at this. There's my chickens right there. We're, we're gonna keep all the chickens safe, including these guys right here. Philip and I headed out. We found copper and amethyst inside of a cave and smelted it and quickly crafted spy glasses. But as we returned home, there was a raccoon just staring us down. Oh, I'm thinking what you're thinking. Let's educate this dude to give us some information. Yeah. We ran after the raccoon and he quickly booked it. I ended up following him to a weird location. And this place kind of looked like a trap. And suddenly that same raccoon transformed into this abomination. If I saw this thing in person, I would literally give him the keys to my house. I'm not, I'm not messing with that. I'm, I'm just saying. Of course, out of nowhere, a raccoon army just swarmed us. While Philip held them back, it gave me a chance to talk to the mutant raccoon. Oh, I got you. You should have seen your faces. Who exactly are you? And why are you so ripped? What? You've never heard of me? I'm kind of a big deal. Think about trash and raccoons. You gotta be joking, right? We, we know you stole our chickens from our farm. Now tell me where he is and nobody's gonna get hurt. I just need the location. 
Seriously, I'm the raccoon king, leader of all the raccoons and hoarder of trash. By the way, that chicken was very tasty. But first, let me tell you about this mobile game that I've been playing a lot. It's called Dragon Raja, which is the sponsor of today's video. Dragon Raja is an open world MMORPG game that features unbelievably insane high quality graphics on mobile devices. Having Dragon Raja on your phone is like carrying a bunch of diamonds. Everybody needs it, literally. And as a squid game has swept the world, Dragon Raja is introducing the new gameplay mode called Dragon Game. I've already tried it and it's very interesting. The official version released on November 25th will be way more fun. In Dragon Game, players need to pass 5 levels to win the final prize. The games are Red Light Blue Light, Glass Walkway, Pumpkin Battle, Team Competition, and Final Trial. You will compete with 39 other players for the final prize in an anonymous way. Now, my favorite part when playing games is making the characters look like me and describe my personality. Dragon Raja has the best character creators ever made on mobile devices. You see, I've always wanted to become a supermodel, and now I finally can. You can live in a massive, beautiful open world where standing in the middle of the street will cause traffic jams. Or how about this? Falling on the slippery ground on a snowy night or relaxing in a steamy hot spring. Finally, I can experience true freedom with Dragon Raja's infinite exploration. With their extremely abundant gameplay, you can affect how the story develops with the choices you make. There's even a career system. You can become anything you want, like a five-star chef, a shop owner, or hear me out, a professional skateboarder. How about owning your dream house and starting a family like Philip and I? So, what are you waiting for? Download it right now. Just, just, just cl click the links in the description to get tons of rewards and, and even more information. Listen, buddy, I don't care who you are. Chickens and raccoons are at war. We're coming to take what's ours. As soon as I attacked him, he picked me up and threw me. Philip and I quickly ran away. I gotta say, that mutant got me very paranoid. What if a raccoon just followed me home and was watching me? I just couldn't pick any more chances. And that is exactly why I began building giant walls surrounding my entire farm. Now all of this will help keep my iron golems inside, my chickens safe, and make it easier to watch over the farm. I even made sure to label some areas for the future projects that I planned. For example, my habitat area, windmills, and silos. Overall, my paradise farm was looking very relaxing. I, I would totally vacation here. On days 25 to 34, in the morning, I started building a modern bedroom. I wanted this place looking real sleek. First, placing down my beds and creating a custom bed frame using lecterns. Then barrels for the side tables with flower pots on top. I even added carpet on the floor so my tiny feet don't get too cold. And why not add in a small office area using bookshelves combined with a lectern, lanterns, a chair, and other things to make it feel complete. Finally, the armor stands. This way, I can keep track of all my armor. And I gotta say, you gotta love a fresh new design. I totally didn't spend 10 hours looking through my Instagram trying to figure out how my interior should look like. Well, Philip uh, had a different idea. He went with a rainbow triple bed design, keeping the room looking very colorful. I gotta say, a great addition to the building. Anyways, I moved on to the storage room, making the design pretty clever by having barrels at the bottom and chests on top, and it just thinks they're designed to make a blend in. For the first row, I placed my furnace, smithing table, cartographer table, and loom. I finished up with the second row using a grindstone, stone cutter, and an anvil. My goal was to make this place look like a modern version of the giant sky village that I built in 100 days as an alley. And that's exactly why I began building a beautiful kitchen using beehives for the countertop shelves, while for the center countertops, I used barrels, pressure plates, and trapdoors. Then I created the refrigerator, a sink, three stoves, and decorated the place with some small details. So this design really caught my eye, using a lectern and a trapdoor to create a stove vent. Also, I thought it was pretty funny to have a dining table built using stairs surrounding my trapdoors and placing item frames on top, then turtle legs and a cake. Now, for the moose touch, using melons with pumpkins, a flower pot with a fern inside, and stacked with some leaves to create a, a tree. Oh, and check this out. Three birch trap doors with scaffolding blocks, adding in another flower pot and finishing it up with some chairs to complete the design. I bet you that you haven't seen this before. 
Yo, Philip, just look at our chickens over there. You know, they're just enjoying their breakfast. I gotta say, this place looks definitely pretty good. There was still a few details this place was missing. So, I planted a few oak trees and even placed a bunch of scarecrows. But what? There's nothing wrong with scarecrows, even though they don't actually get scared of them. Yeah, we're just missing some lights. And by placing tons of lanterns, our paradise farm was finally lit up. I feel like it's essential to have a tractor on a farm, so I came up with this. It's simple, but completes the look. My front porch was kind of lacking, so I built a lawnmower, which fit the style pretty nicely. Just look at Philip having a good time. You really can't have a farm without some machinery. It really does complement the vibes. Onwards, today's 35 to 44. We were searching for powerful items which should help us stay ahead of the foxes. As I walked through the swamp biome, I came across this strange castle, and next to it was this abandoned witch hut. Yo, Phil, you think this place is run down? It looks like it's abandoned. Almost like somebody lives here or something. We went inside, and a boss appeared. It flew up in the sky and started dropping explosive projectiles. The name was Swamp Jaw. It was pretty much a flying skeleton shark. You don't see that every day. Oh, Philip, watch the explosives. Yo, those things are no joke. They're, they're, they're literally no joke. It's, it's just going through the walls. Watch out. All right, I'm trying to get it from the top. Here we go. Oh, I can't even reach him. I literally can't even reach him. I'm getting it with some. Oh, mercy. I hear skeletons. I hear his minions. Oh, come on. Let me see if I can get it from the top. We just got to keep the strike, okay? Just, just, just keep it down there. There we go. This is the spot right here. Oh, perfect. This dude's got no idea what's about to hit him. Get him with the bow spam! Yes! Well, Swamp Jaw was finally defeated. Is that all he dropped? Just, just teeth? What, 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 what am I gonna do with this? Eat it? Hmm? And next up was filling up my animal pen. I collected a bunch of cows. Then Philip got the pigs. After we found some sheep nearby us. And finally, slick up to these horses and tame them. Come on, boy. You come with me, boy. Let's go. I'm going to name you Papa Moose. We brought them back to the barn and placed them in their animal pens. Come on, Mr. Sheep. Now, you guys are the last ones. You just get inside. Oh. Wait. Philip, come on, man. Now we're missing one. Get it. Nope. Nope. You, you got to go. You got to get inside there. Stay. Don't worry. We still have two more. Let's go. You're, you're almost here. There you go, boys. Everybody get some wheat. Enjoy. And for you, you get the, uh, I guess the, the carrots work. Philip, is it like your new horse? You know, I mean, I, I got a horse, but you got a, you got a pig. <laughs> and that should be the last of them. There we go. Are you sure about this? You want to park a pig next to a horse. I gotta say, if you don't got iron chickens, you're missing out. They are a great investment. And since it was so helpful, I brought a few more chickens down to the mines and gave them golden ingots, turning them into gold chickens. Chickens, listen up. You see, now everyone here has to make as much gold possible. And together, we're going to have unlimited, uh, I, I was going to say golden apples, but yeah, those are kind of useless for chickens. I already have 15 gold. Yeah, that's, that's not bad, you know? But at least we can improve our gold throne here. Look at this. Tons of gold everywhere. All right, Philip, just spend it all. Make everything completely gold. To celebrate our accomplishments, I began building a chicken statue in front of my walls. The whole point is to honor my fallen chickens and tell those raccoons and foxes that we are ready for a fight. And with the stacks of gold blocks, I built a gold throne to signify a crown on top of the chicken statue. It looks kind of funny. It's finally official. Philip is now the king of the chickens. Look at him. He's having a pretty good time. I gotta say, this thing looks, uh... Definitely pretty funky. All that statue really did was cause an invasion. You see, the foxes weren't exactly happy, and they came running from the mega tiger biome next door. They swarmed the paradise farm and began attacking my chickens. My iron golems just stood there. It was up to Philip and I. Philip, let's get them. Oh, there's a lot. Yo, yo, I'm about to turn it to me. No, I'm out of here. No, no, thank you. I'm not about to get you alive. Get out of my way. Yo, oh, there's so many. There's so many. Okay, we gotta go. I'm at a one, one and a half hearts. Philip, get my back. Get my back, buddy. No, 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 no. Okay, 
Honestly, once, once you get the hang of it, it it's kind of easy. We can just easily dodge and weave. No, no problem at all. No. The battle was over, and all that was left was feathers and food for the foxes. Days 45 to 51, I started off my morning by digging out a massive hole, then changing out the flooring using stones combined with cobblestone to complete the look. I filled it up with water and added in seaweed, kelp, and lily pads. For the outside, I lit the place up with lanterns and planted bamboo. While I finished building the boat dock, Philip ended up making his own jet ski. Yo, Philip, hop on my boat, buddy. Let's go. Well, we're gonna go on a... <laughs> I'm not sure where we're gonna go. Okay, all right, all right, I'm messing this up. This is, this is not happening. What are you doing? What's even happening? Yo, oh, I gotta say, the jet ski, uh, it, it kind of works. Well, it was time for an armor upgrade. The next tier of armor was called the Angelic Scent, which needed angelic feathers, only crafted using one feather in the center, surrounded by eight diamonds. And then crafted the angelic boots, leggings, chest plate, and helmets. There I was, looking majestic. Have ever seen a chicken look like this? I don't think so. It's about time I have some full iron bars. Now, let's test out my abilities. So I also have haste to repair. Oh, okay, the, the haste to is definitely... Okay, all right. There's, a lot of them. There's, there's more than one. There, there's definitely more than one. Yo, oh, the donkey! The donkey! I'm gonna save you! I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Oh, I didn't save you. Philip! Philip, kill the crocodile! Yo! Oh, oh, that's pretty good. And with the armor set equipped, I do get a haste 2 bonus, so that means I can technically mine quicker. Oh yeah, definitely way quicker. Definitely way quicker. To test my armor, I traveled to the freezing snow biome, coming across interesting animals. As I finally set up camp, Philip found a yeti. I'm not even kidding. Philip was really considering bringing back a yeti to the house. I don't really know what was going to happen. So I gathered snow and headed back home to build the ice habitat. Now, these right here are diamond seeds. It grows in the snow biome, and when you eat them, it gets special effects. Anyways, I began building a square glass room. Then, placing a bunch of snow, building a cave, and adding in some trees with a small frozen lake. Our yetis were ready for the new habitat. Yo, Philip, are you sure that's safe? That does not look safe at all. This guy looks kind of dangerous. Yo, 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 what are you doing? Yo, 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 get in there. Get, get back in there. Get, see, this is exactly why you don't keep a yeti. While we were distracted, another raccoon snuck into our base, this time through the mines. But luckily, I managed to stop him in time, and turns out, the immune raccoon was planning on raiding us with an army. His raccoon minion gave us his location, and we headed out. This is a place, a massive junkyard. I mean, kind of easy to get inside of here. It's just so much trash. Look, look, look at this, just fill with trash. Oh, I see a raccoon and a bear. Oh, there's a lot of raccoons. Okay, oh, not the bear. Stay away, stay away. No, back up, back up, no. Nope. As we searched the place, I found the mutant raccoon. That traitor gave away my location. Well, either way, you don't stand a chance against me in my raccoon army. The mutant raccoon started throwing giant trash piles, trying to squish me. Yeah, I know, this dude's crazy. No, too many raccoons. I, honestly, I'm sick of it. I, I, I've been dealing with too many raccoons for, I don't even know how long. Seriously. No, oh, there he goes. There he goes. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep him off me. And so getting him with the bows. No, oh, what is that? What was that? What was that ability? Nope. I think he's trying to pick me up. No. Oh. If I just keep chicken kicking him, I should be able to knock him back. Just like that. You gotta watch out for those fireballs. It is extremely powerful. How does a trash raccoon shoot out fireballs? It just doesn't make any sense. Run, 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 run. Oh, no. Don't no, do that. Don't do that. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm currently hiding. This was a bad idea. Using my chicken speed ability, paired with my ninja kicks, I finally defeated the mutant raccoon. And all that was left was a bunch of raccoon tails. Days 52 to 60. Philip and I were on a secret mission. With the raccoons finally being gone, there was just one more predator left. The fox pack. We searched through multiple pack of foxes until I finally found the one. This place contained a fox headquarter, which is where the mutant fox hosts meetings. Inside of it was a room with test tubes and an item stand containing a golden egg. Come on. Come on. Yeah, this. Oh, come on, Philip. You got one job. <laughs> I'm breaking in. Okay, here we go. Hi, right, buddy. Let's get it. Okay. Oh. I think they know. They, they definitely know. Nope, they know. They know. Nope, I'm 
wait, 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 I'm, so, I'm so sorry. Nope, not that. I'm really sorry at all. Get out of here. There's a crocodile outside. There's literally a... Okay, no crocodiles. No, thank you. No, back up. No, fold. Chill. They're gonna eat you alive. All right. It's just you and me. Get out of here. Nope. This, this was... This was a little bit... Okay. They're honestly really annoying. Seriously. And what do we got here? Look at this. It looks uh, definitely very special. It seems like a, a prized possession. All right, buddy. I'm taking it. Here we go. A golden egg. Huh. What exactly is a golden egg? The foxes, with their phenomenal hearing, they spotted us in no time, swarming the room with their army. Philip and I tried our best holding them back, but they kept jumping on us and trying to eat us alive. For the moment, I was really worried. What if they called for reinforcements? I'm telling you, if the mule fox shows up, it's game over. Hey, Philip, how you doing over there, buddy? Yo, oh, okay, I'm kind of glitching out. There's, there's a lot. I, I don't even see you. It's, it's literally a swarm of foxes. That is, that is a ridiculous amount of foxes. Okay, all right, I'm going in for the kick. Wow, you know that is the most overpowered thing ever. Before leaving this place, I found a map, and it's got the location of the immune fox's hideout. I'm telling you, I would love to challenge him, but I need a bunch of upgrades. So, I returned home, and turns out, Philip was building a weird shed. I wasn't exactly sure what he was up to, but once he went to sleep, I snuck inside the place and found some questionable things. There was a pack of vicious wolves inside him. I don't know what this dude was up to, but Philip was definitely suspicious. From day 61 to 69, I ate the golden egg and instantly transformed into a buff chicken. No more will chickens be considered weak. With my transformation, we finally had a chance against those foxes. You know, I'm really wondering, what are the chickens gonna... Th uh, oh, uh, hey, hey, Philip, this is kind of awkward. Ah. Uh, so, it's not what it looks like. Oh, all right, it's exactly what it looks like. What? No, no, I'm not gone. Philip, it's it's literally me. It, it, look, look at me. It, it's me, bro. What, what, what are you talking about? Philip, yes, it's still me. Moose, come on. It's it's not that hard to tell. Seriously. You know, I've just been working out. That's, that's about it. Right here. Hey, take some of this. Yeah, you gotta go to your diamond seats. Way, way, way better for you. And then you can do this. You can just, just jump over anything. I was given new abilities, first being super jump, which makes me jump extremely high in the air and fly for a short amount of time. No, oh, Philip, I'm literally skydiving. Look at this. This is, this is crazy. Wow. I, I never thought this day would come. Look at me. I'm, I'm just flying. You know, you, you, don't, you don't see this every day. That's right. I'm like Superman. Are you throwing eggs at me. Don't, don't throw eggs at me. Oh, okay. I'm good. Well, this is explosive eggs. Every egg I throw instantly blows up. If I'm in need of reinforcements, I can summon my own flock of chicken guards, protecting me from anything. In my last one, feather arrows. Who needs a bow when you can throw sharp feathers, hurting all enemies around? How mad would he be if I just threw an egg at him? You know, I'm just gonna find out. Catch! Boom! Oh! Um. Hey, buddy. Uh, oh, there, I'm, I'm sorry. I was just kidding. I was literally just kidding, buddy. <laughs> One, Philip, you got a problem with my explosive eggs? Call me when you can do this. Psst. Have you subscribed? Now, to test my strengths, we traveled to the desert biome and found this massive pyramid. It definitely looked promising. Philip, first one to loot the entire place wins. Let's go. Okay, what are we guys on this place? Oh, we got some, we got some enemies. They're not bad. Get him, chickens. You got this, guys. And let's just die. Get a small entrance over here. What is this? Some target box? Oh, wow. Literally creepers don't do anything. This place is completely gone. There's, there's just nothing left in here. And that should be every single spawner. Got some diamonds and a golden apple. Look at this. A secret chest. Oh, with a notch apple. No, no, no. Stop it. You're, you're going to kill me. Philip, what was that? Are you also able to throw eggs? That's one. Honestly, the pyramid wasn't that bad, but I still had to complete just one more thing, and that was called the legendary Raven Armor. This set is no joke. One that wields the armor gets blessed by the ravens, 
So first, I located the ravens and began fighting them off, collecting the raven feathers, and began crafting the raven boots, leggings, chest plates, and helmets. As I equipped the raven armor set, I looked like a true samurai with insane raven wings. And wearing this legendary armor, I was given speed 1, strength 3, haste 2, and fire resistance. So I'm pretty much invincible. Look at this. They don't do any damage to me anymore. Like, seriously. And then in terms of durability, I'm still pretty good. Now, once I enchant my gear, I'm gonna arm wrestle the immune fox. I'm, I'm gonna embarrass that dude. I'm, I'm telling you. As we were heading back to the Paradise Farm, Philip found a bunch of ducks. Ducks for a pond? I, I mean, that's, that's a pretty good idea. And plus, you already have the lead on them and such, so I guess we're good to go. All right, buddy. Here, I'm gonna lead the way. Follow me. Let's go. Just, just, just watch out for the alligators. The, the last thing we need is, you know, getting eaten by that. Oh, they are, they, they are there looking to feast. They, they, oh, no. What, what, is it? what did I just say? This is why we can't have nice things. This is, this is literally why. As we got back home, we had the perfect spot for my duck habitat, the pond. Look at them. They're loving it. And just to be safe, we built a small fence surrounding the entire pond. You know, I gotta say, it's honestly a great way to prevent my ducks from being eaten. Oh, nobody wants duck meat. Mm, not good. On day 70 to 78, today was the day to finally take on the mutant fox. So, I finished building my enchanting table and enchanted my raven armor. It's kind of crazy. I, I went 70 days without any chance. I can't tell if I'm a noob or not. Before heading out, I quickly built a massive silo. Yeah, this was one of my last remaining buildings before completing the farm. Philip, don't you do it. Don't, don't, don't jump, buddy. Nope, nope, that's like... Wow. Huh. That was pretty good. Nice job, buddy. I grabbed the map to the Mew and Fox's hideout and followed it, leading us to this massive redwood tiger biome. And there it was, the fox campsite. And right behind it, a massive fox skull built inside the hill. This totally looks like a lair for an evil villain. Philip, get ready for the foxes. They're, they're, they're coming for us right now. We're about to cause a big commotion. No, oh, there's a lot. There's gonna be a lot. All right, come on, chicken army. Here we go, boys. Hold them back. Philip, where are you, buddy? Make sure you're safe. Get rid of this entire camp. Oh, I just killed a chicken. That's not good. All right, I'm just gonna go for it. That's it. I'm going it. Use my feather arrows. We're all going down. Wow, that is honestly way too easy. Literally, anything I aim at just instantly dies. Look at this. I'm so sorry, chickens. I'm so sorry, guys. You, you okay there, buddy? They're, 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 kind of, they're kind of killing you. Philip stayed outside, preventing any foxes from getting in. While I walked inside, give me a fox's face. Look at you! I see you've been trying to match me. It's not going to help! Really? Match you? Are you are you kidding me? What do you mean match you? I, I, I've been doing this for so long now. For thousands of years. It's been part of the food chain. Don't you understand? This is our job. So you're telling me your job is eating chickens? Seriously? Exactly! Chickens lay eggs, while foxes eat chickens. The more we eat, the stronger we get. It puts us ahead of our competitors. Wolves! Well, I think it's about time we change the tradition. Chickens eat foxes. Uh, let's go! What was that? How did he just do that? No! Oh, okay, what the heck? I can't even reach him! No! Oh, okay, that's not good. That is not good. I don't know how he's doing that, but... I'm going in for the feather arrows. Well, luckily, I can fly. But let's see what happens here. No, oh, he's just breaking the floor. And he's summoning his fox minions. All right. No, I gotta say, he, he, he's, he's kind of quick. And he... Oh! No, he does damage. No, I, he, he does a lot of damage. That is not good. Okay, I'm going for him. Let's go. Uh, get him with the feather arrows. I'm holding you back. Come on. Uh, uh. You want some of this? As they fought the mutant fox, he swung his tail, spinning in a 360 degree, pushing my army of chickens back. I kept summoning more until the mutant fox used his crunch ability, shredding apart anything in front of him, causing a bleeding effect. No! Oh, he's eating my chickens! No! I don't even know how he's... Oh! How the is he doing that? He's, he's literally shredding apart everything. I can't even move. I, I can't even move. No! 
No! No, literally! He's about to push him through a wall! I'm trying to get him! Come on, feather arrows! Now hold it back a little bit! There we go! Towards you on him! Listen, those arrows are... They're, 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 they're no joke! I'm telling you right now! They are literally no joke! Oh, come on, bro! This dude is serious right now! Take this! Ugh. That, that, that fox tail ability is just ridiculous! He just... Come on, I can't even get near him! Alright, fine. Two, two can play this game. Oh, you keep moving me back. I'm gonna keep using my feather arrows. Then what are you gonna... Oh, never mind. The mere fox got weaker. He summoned an army of foxes rushing at me and my flock. My chickens stood no chance. Dude, there's so many foxes. This, this guy is crazy. Right, back up. Come on, there we go. You see, this is what happens now. You, you, you want us to have... You, you want all your foxes dying to my feather arrows. When you kill my chicken army, this is what you get. All right, now I'm over it. Nope, not today. Ooh, come on. My secret weapon. Explosive eggs. Oh! Take this. Oh, that'll definitely do it. Explosive eggs. That is the worst thing that can happen to you. Finally, the immune fox was gone. The chickens have won. Defeating the raccoons and the foxes. No longer... We had to worry about being hunted. Well, I, I mean, there's still a bunch of other animals that want to eat us, but listen, this is a good start, okay? We, we, we took a W. On day 79 to 86, I had another vision in the Phoenix. You have come very far. As a reward, I bless you with the knowledge of the Phoenix pickaxe and Phoenix sword. Uh, yeah, thanks. So, how do I exactly make it? And, 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 what's the point of this whole thing? These can only be crafted with the legendary phoenix feathers. Search the mountains to find my phoenix friends. Wait, so am I supposed to fight them or they're just gonna give it to me? Once you possess the phoenix tools, only then can you find me for your final test. Uh, what test? I will see you soon. Every chicken's dream is to become. I woke up in my vision. I spent days traveling across the world. Finding mountains and gathering the phoenix feathers until I finally had enough. So first, I crafted the phoenix sword, and with it, I could set enemies on fire. Next was the phoenix pickaxe, which allowed me to smelt anything I mine in a 5x5 five five radius. I gotta say, mining has never been easier. It's just like simple, effortless. Look at this. Especially getting stone, it's super easy. And there we go, some stone bricks. At nighttime, there was a flock of chickens. Walking around outside my barn, in some weird way, a zombie infected a chicken, causing an outbreak of zombie chickens. This was low-key painful to watch. <coughs> Philip, what's going on, buddy? <coughs> what? Z zombie chickens? Oh, this can't be good. This cannot be good. These are the dangerous zombie creatures. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh, they're trying to bite me. No, I, I, I don't, I don't want to turn the zombie. That, that wouldn't be good. Let's get him. Oh, there's so many other. Honestly, pretty easy to take them out. Not on my watch. Get out of here. The little baby one. Oh, come on. They got the, bro, they got the baby too. Philip, he does not like you. And in no time, the zombie chickens were finally gone. But what did remain were these ruby seeds. Golden seeds. Oh, go gold, gold seeds. Okay. Okay. No, no, not bad. Tastes pretty good. Oh, regeneration two and health boost two. I think it's best if we start planting them right in front of our house. Like right over here. That's, that's a pretty good spot. Golden seeds for days. To finish up my third habitat, I built a nether portal and traveled to the nether. Now, I was looking for a very rare species of turtles. These are called cinder shells, and they're only found in volcanic areas such as the nether. But first, I mined up all the blocks that I needed for the cinder shell habitat. Then, brought them back home and began building a glass box. For the flooring, I used nether rack, then added a lava stream, and even planted these huge crimson and warped fungus, or whatever they call it. And just to finish it up, a few more blocks to complement the habitat. Well, it was officially complete, and I gotta see. I think it looks pretty good, and the cinder shells are even loving it. On days 87 to 94, it was finally time to meet the phoenix. I hopped inside the portal and began searching through these different biomes. But all I found was advanced piglins that wore armor and had these camps over here. Piglin hideouts. You know, I guess that works. Who knows? Maybe they can give us, you know, a hint or something. Let's go. Okay. 
You know what? They're, they're kind of friendly until you hit them. You, you see, that, that's kind of that's kind of where I messed up a little bit. But honestly, they don't really do that much damage. Yeah, they're barely doing anything to me. I mean, then again, I do have some crazy armor on. Now, this is my favorite part. Picking them all out at once. It, it's just so easy. Literally the easiest thing ever. But the question is, where exactly is the Phoenix? What do we got here? A golden stick? Hmm. Yup, absolutely nothing. There was only one more possible location that we could check, and that was a pigling ship. Oop, I got it. All right, let's get it. Nope, oh, not today. Get off the ship. It's officially mine. Hello? There's still building over here. What are you, what are you doing? Come on, buddy. Any moment now. Hop on board. Grab the gold and everything we can get. We're looking for the Phoenix. And what do we got down here? Let's see this. Fire resistance. I guess it's not bad. Okay, this is one. This is one. I got it. Easy. Is that it? What's this? A piglin gem? Huh. I climbed on top of the watch post and found an item frame with a Phoenix feather. Now, th this was kind of strange. Uh, why did the piglins have a Phoenix feather? It, it, it did, it, did it power their ship? I don't even know. And suddenly, the Phoenix flew out of the lava and said, Well done, Moose. You're finally here, and you brought your friend. Ah, there we go. Finally found you. We really thought that it was going to be impossible. I'm telling you. Now, my chickens, you are finally worthy of the secret Phoenix fire. Oh, yeah, the, the Phoenix fire. Um, what, what, what does that do? Does that like make us fly and summon flamethrowers? You know, that, that'd be really cool. Flying flamethrowers. All you have to do is release me from the nether. And once I can feel the sun, I'll unleash my sun power, blessing you both. Wait, what do you mean, release you? We, we had a deal. I, I thought you were here because you didn't want to be found or something. The Phoenix used her sacred powers and lifted Philip in the air, slowly choking him. No! Philip! Let, let him go! It, it, just, it has nothing to do with him! I'll, 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 do, I'll do what you say, okay? You foolish chickens! You do what I say! Now I have to set an example! Without any hesitation, the Phoenix chucked Philip into the lava, slowly killing him. Wait, wait, no, 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 no! Philip, can you hear me? No, 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 this can't be happening. Not, not this again. Are all you chickens this naive? You really think I needed your help? I was imprisoned here by a powerful sorcerer, and you are my way out. Philip, this one is for you, buddy. Ugh. Okay, he's got lightning strikes. Uh, no, where's that thing? I, I, can't even, I can't even get to them. No, I'm gonna try my feather arrows. It's working. What you gonna do now, huh? All right, gotta eat, eat some gold seeds. No, oh. throwing fireballs at me. That, that's not good. Okay, the Phoenix flew over me, dropping meteors on the piglin's ship. I quickly escaped and used my flying ability to get on land. But she was resilient, bombarding me with these explosive fireballs. I could barely keep up. No, oh, that's a lot of fireballs. No, I don't think about this. Using feather arrows to deflect the fireballs. That, that, that definitely. Oh wow, oh, I, I can't even see anything anymore. It was working while it lasted, and now it's just a massacre. Come on, I'm trying my best here. Oh, not good, not good, gotta go. I got an idea, let's fly up in the sky. Two can play this game. There we go, got a few hits on her. Come on. Oh, they're not happy. Oh, not, not the zombie piglet. Not the zombie piglet. Great, that's that's amazing. Now they're mad at me too. Seriously, come on, I'm deflecting the fireballs. It's, it's working. It's working! It's hitting here! There we go! Come on! Ugh. Chicken army, go! Let's go, boys! Put in some work! No! Oh, they're, they're just getting... Yup, they're just burning alive. Everyone's becoming fried chicken. The Phoenix charged up her sun powers, and using her flamethrower ability, she engulfed me in fire. I got an idea? Let me use my explosive... Whoa! What? What? What is that for? What is that I don't think my explosive eggs are getting close to her. Funny enough, I actually believed that I was winning. But instead, the Phoenix reached her final stage. She summoned her meteors and used her flamethrower on me. And out of nowhere, fire tornadoes came after me. Honestly, if it wasn't for my golden seeds, I'd never become a fried chicken. Since when was there fire tornadoes in Minecraft? Yeah, that's, that's crazy. You know what? I'm going for the explosive eggs. Oh, 
It's just gonna be raining explosive eggs. Oh, fire tornadoes. My best bet is to fly up in the sky, fly around, and keep shooting feather arrows. That's, that's all I can really do. There she is. Combine them together. There we go, explosive eggs. I think it's working. It's literally... No! No! Okay. That is crazy. No! Not the lava. That was so close. Way too many tornadoes. With the final swing, the game of the Phoenix. Well done. You might have defeated me, but there are others in this world much stronger than Kurama and I. And just like that, the Phoenix was gone. She was saying something about others just like her. It, it honestly got me curious. Kurama was definitely the strongest boss that I fought. The question remains, what powerful forces are out there waiting for me to challenge them? Days 95 to 99 started off very peacefully. I was building a massive windmill for the Paradise Farm. And that's when a familiar face returned. Is that Philip? Philip, you're, you're alive! Yo, what a relief, buddy! Yes, the, the plan did work. You know, I gotta say, it was kind of sus and, and you, you almost had me. You know, you're, you're probably confused. You see, before going into this fight, we thought about the circumstances of us being betrayed. I mean, it's it's not like I haven't dealt with this before, right? So, just in case of emergencies, we both had golden seeds, which would pretty much keep us alive. Okay, fine. I'm, I'm not being boring. Whatever. There was just one more thing left on my bucket list. To find a godly item capable of linking worlds together. So, I traveled to the end and quickly battled the Ender Dragon. First, taking out his end crystals, then bombarding him with explosive eggs combined with feather arrows. Ooh, no, Philip, I hate to be that guy. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Finally, the dragon was defeated. So, I grabbed the egg, went back home, and built a small shrine, officially completing the Paradise Farm. On day 100, I was here with a dimensional carver, possessed by the Void Worm. No! Oh, no, oh, they're infecting everything! Philip, just stay away from them! They're, they're, they're really, really bad for you. I'm telling you. They'll, 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 they'll give you a virus too. Alright? You don't want that. Oh, they are, they are just all over the place. Get out of here! Look at this! Oh, even drop capsid blocks. By placing a capsid block and adding in this mosquito larva, it created this mysterious worm. Oh, Philip grabbed it and he threw it right into the void. But by doing so, it summoned the void worm. And once again, thank you to Dragon Raja for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to download the game by clicking the links in the description down below. You got it, really? Whoa! Look at that! Look, look at this! Whoa! There's, 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 there's two of them? What just happened? He's, no, he's still pointing! Okay, go, go for his head. Make sure, make sure you go for his head. It, it, it shouldn't be that difficult to kill him. But plus, we're extremely powerful. Oh, okay. No, no, we, we have an issue. But they, they, they split up. They can, they can split up, apparently. That is not good. All right. I, I, I'm flying in there. Here we go. Come on. He's almost dead. Oh. Wow. Well, that was honestly surprisingly easy. The Void Worm was finally gone. I grabbed its remains and crafted the legendary dimensional carver. With this item, I began mining into the air, slowly creating a breach to a new dimension. So, Philip and I went inside the portal. <coughs> to be continued.